It appears another fire caused by a lithium ion battery. I'm Mike Montecalvo and I'm Shannon Heggie. We've heard these stories before. Fire officials in Coventry say it appears a charging battery sparked last night's fire there. 12 News reporter Jake Holter is live in Coventry with that update. Jake. Well, that's right, Shannon and Mike. We've learned this afternoon that the state fire marshal has determined the start of the fire was caused by a lithium ion battery being charged by the wrong kind of charging cord, causing it to explode. A three alarm fire raged inside a Coventry apartment building Monday night. Central Coventry Fire Chief Frank Brown describing what a juvenile resident told him happened that night. He heard a sizzling sound and the battery exploded. Uh, by the time he turned around, uh, there was fire from floor to ceiling, uh, banking down on him and the smoke and everything. Residents fleeing the building as the fire began to spread. Firefighters helping two people out by ladder through a second story window after their way of exiting was blocked by the flames. Honestly, I've been doing this job for over 48 years. I don't remember a ground ladder rescue in this town. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured in the fire. Three people were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation, but will be okay. In the meantime, dozens of people are displaced after the fire with the town and community partners trying to find them temporary housing. I'm uh, talking people with children and so forth. So they have to make accommodations while at the same time still going to work, going to school and doing everything else that they have. Seven households were put up in the Coventry Holiday Inn Monday night as leaders figure out how to help them further. They've talked about keeping them at the Holiday Inn for a short period of time, uh, possibly going with relatives. Um, uh, Julie Letty, who's a housing authority director, is seeing if she has any openings in her uh, facility that temporarily house some people. Uh, we've also asked the owner of the property if there are any vacant apartments there he can temporarily move people into. So it's really kind of an all hands on deck approach at this point. And Perillo says it could be two to three months before the building is fully inhabitable again. Reporting live in Coventry, Jake Holter, 12 News. He heard a sizzling sound and the battery exploded. That's what the Central Coventry Fire Chief says started last night's fire in an apartment building. He says the battery blew up after someone plugged it into the wrong charging cord. The result, three people hurt and dozens more have lost their homes. Jake Holter tells us how the town is trying to help them. Jake. Well, Mike and Shannon, town leaders, fire officials, the owner of the property, the displaced residents, and the Red Cross all gathered here at the Coventry Resource Center this afternoon to discuss how to help those affected by last night's blaze and officials telling us that there is now a plan in place for each of the 12 households affected. Dozens of people now without a home after a fire ripped through a building at Glenwood Park Apartments on Tyoke Avenue in Coventry. There's a lot of people displaced, probably in the neighborhood of over 30 people. Uh, that uh, today a homeless looking for a place to stay. 12 of those people were originally going to spend the night at the Coventry Community Center before being placed at the Coventry Holiday Inn for the night. We caught up with Coventry Town Manager Daniel Perillo Tuesday before he went into a meeting to discuss what the community can do for the displaced. He shared some potential solutions on the table. They've talked about keeping them at the Holiday Inn for a short period of time, uh, possibly going with relatives. Um, uh, Julie Letty, who's a housing authority director, is seeing if she has any openings in her uh, facility that temporarily house some people. Uh, we've also asked the owner of the property if there are any vacant apartments there he can temporarily move people into. So it's really kind of an all hands on deck approach at this point. After the meeting concluded, we spoke with Coventry Human Service Director Robert Robillard, who says all of these ideas are being utilized in some way as they put together individualized plans for each of the 12 households affected. Every household is different, and one of the things we try to do is an individualized plan to meet the needs of that specific household. Um, and it, we have an, old, uh, an age um, range from really young children to, an, to elderly individuals, so each plan is different. And Robillard says it could be between two and four months before the damage in the building is fixed. Reporting live in Coventry, Jake Holter, 12 News.